of today. Today is Friday and I have some exciting fun plans for Saturday and I actually have some other fun exciting plans that I'm gonna tell the girls and book with them and figure out what to do. Anyways, welcome to today's video. Today is Friday. If you saw in yesterday's video, I got this amazing new rope halter for Penny. It's pink. I love it. Also, we did an amazing contest with Virtue Soap Con Company. If you didn't see that video, you should watch it. It was yesterday's video. It is a super amazing prize pack you want to win. So go ahead over to Instagram and uh, you'll find the contest details there. So, so super simple. And you can enter to win that contest. I'm excited. It goes until next Friday. One week. It runs only for a week. So get your entries in now because it is such a nice prize package. And it's almost Christmas. We're starting our Christmas contest giveaways early this year so that I can handle it a little bit better. But anyway, uh, welcome to today. I wanted to tell you guys something really quick because I realized that I am not an effective speaker. I can never get out what I want to say. So what I wanted to say is about Penny because that's all I ever talk about it seems like. <laughs> but what I want to take, so I always try and explain to you what kind of horse Penny is and I figured it out on my way down here, figured out how to say it. Penny is the kind of horse that knows how to behave, knows all the rules, and she affect, and she will look at you and say, do I need to pay attention to the rules? If you say yes, yeah, she's like, okay, and never misbehaves. If you say, eh, I don't really care about the rules, she says, okay, neither do I. <laughs> That's the kind of horse she is. She behaves when you ask her to, she doesn't behave when she doesn't have to, and probably most horses are like that, but when she does behave, she, she just, she knows the rules, she's like, okay, fine, and doesn't even try and be bad, like, She's amazing. I love her. She's my favorite horse. And she's not my favorite horse. I love her. She is my favorite horse. My favorite horse. Who's your favorite horse? Out of these three? Out of all the horses that we have. Like, who's your heart horse? Do you have a heart horse? No. You don't have a heart horse? Then you still haven't found your heart horse yet. You still haven't found your heart yet. No, just joking. <laughs> Wait, that's just a joke. Just a joke. Oh, wait. Who's your heart horse? Finny. Finn is definitely your heart horse. My heart horse. Are you guys ready for it? My heart horse. Look at Ruby. Obviously the cat is in the building. The cat is in the building. How do you know the cat is in the building? <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe she's just looking. Gracie goes up those stairs. She tries to go up those stairs. So we have to put a blocker there. And remember the day that Daisy as a puppy went up those stairs and ran and jumped off the landing. Yeah, we have to put a blocker on the stairs. Wait, do you want to try a chip? You want to try a chip? Oh, chips? <laughs> what do you think? The cat's not up there. What another miracle happened? I did not hit my head. <laughs> a miracle happened. Gabby did not hit her head. You and here head. comes Miss Penny Pickle. I know. It hurts. I hate it. Gracie started smiling. She's smelling. No, because you wanted to get a tent up there one day. I know. Such a dumb idea. We need to think of someplace fun to sleep this weekend. I literally stood up. Bang. Had a bond with a mare 101. Had a bond with a mare 101. Straight to their belly. I was scared. I stood up again. Remember that? Who remembers that? I went out, bang, and then I thought I was clear, and then we were sleeping in the tent in the hayloft, and I was sound asleep, and Gabby gets up to go somewhere in the middle of the night, and I hear bonk. Fifteen. Yeah, Penny be loving her food. I just wait. I want to tell them my heart horse. My heart horse. Did you guys guess it? My heart horse. I love Penny. I love Stella. I love all of our horses with, like, so much. Like, I love Penny so much. She inspires me. Like, she's amazing. But the horse that holds the biggest spot in my heart, like, his storm. I, his storm. I don't know why. Like, and I think a lot of you guys feel it too. Like. He has this thing about him where he connects with you and he loves, he loves so strong. Like, he loves us and that makes me love him. And Penny, even though she loves me, she's like a mare and she will always love herself or she will always be strong in herself. And Storm is not strong in himself. He is strong in himself, but he, he loves others more than he loves himself. Yeah, can you get that burrs out of her, out of her... Out of her forelock, she's got it right over top of her eye. <laughs> the chips! My horse loves the chips! <laughs> oh, 
I love her. I love horses. Who knew I would love horses? She has a whole plan. I know. This is what she does. Gracie. That's not a burr. Gracie. They hurt though. Spiky plant. Yeah, spiky plant. Penny doesn't want to leave me today. She's, she's like, I will take the chips. It rained in the night. Our pasture is usually pretty dry. Peace in the paddocks. Everything I see in the news says we're gonna have an early winter. Here it is like the middle of November and it's like a spring day. Also, I had to hang up my beautiful halter bridle because I love it. So for anybody who is in the same position as I am and not having like, and it's learning a lot about horses and how to manage them and stuff, the reason that I'm using the rope halter and the reason I love it so much is because it gives me a little bit more control. Penny doesn't actually need it. She did need it because she was starting to eat grass all the time, even when I was telling her no. Um, and I was able to really quickly teach her not to do that with the rope halter. When I first started using the rope halter, I was like, oh, I hate this because you always have to like do it up differently. Now it feels good. It feels good when I do it up. I love the feeling of it. I love everything about using it. I prefer it to my regular halter. It just feels good and fits nice and I just like it so much better. It gives me more control and I'm going to try riding Penny in it because I want to ride her bitless and I feel like this is a perfect transition. Correct me if I'm wrong, any of you guys who are experienced in horses, but I still will have brakes because it's a rope halter, but it will be riding bitless, if that makes sense. It'll be like the first start of riding bitless successfully. And that's what I'm hoping to do with my girl. I, I want to like, I love her. And now that I get the discipline part, now I've figured it out. I feel like it'll our work together and our relationship will just go that much better and that much smoother. But anyway, back to the house and homeschool and chores and I can't wait to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so, yeah, I love it. So we are getting ready to go and ride. I'm gonna ride. Don't touch it, it's not dry. I'm not gonna touch it, but this is a coconut macaroon style thing that Sophie made. If you leave it on the hot oven, it is going to not dry and cool. So maybe put it in the freezer. So uh, this is what it's gonna look like, except for the, without the ch white chocolate chips on the top. Wait, we didn't put chocolate chips on it. Yeah. It. All right, so Sophie decided to put coconut on the top or put coconut on. You can't on. pinch coconut. Put it all in your hand and. Sprinkle. Gabby, Gabby's dying to do it. In other news, this is going to be Storm's blanket. I washed it, sort of, I'll show you. So this is it, it's in such good shape, it's warm. It has a little, couple of little tiny rips, which I know that I can sew up really well so that he, so that it lasts. And the only other thing that's, that's broken on it is this little teeny tiny thing right here. And so tonight, I am going to sew it, just this rim. I'm gonna sew it back on there and I'm gonna double sew all of this so that it withstands the winter. But that's the only thing wrong with this blanket. <laughs> Every time. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing. Sometimes at night she'll climb in bed with me and be so excited to climb under the covers and cuddle up with me. Sophie will come lay on my bed and tell me something and she'll climb in and be so excited and Sophie will sneak away and she won't hear. And then suddenly she'll be like, wait, I need to check because they tricked me. And she'll pop her head up, look around, poof, she's gone. No matter how much I try and trick her into staying, she will not be in another room if Sophie's not in, in the same room with her. Like she just won't, right? And another thing that she won't do is stay off the couch. <laughs> off, off, off. Thank you. The other thing that she doesn't do is she won't sleep anywhere at night but in her crate. She loves her crate. She loves her bed. It's, she It's her family. It's her. She takes everything there. So she is a chewer and um, she's our only dog that she's, she's, she's really good but she does stuff. If she you does lost stuff. your shoe. If you lost a shoe then just look in her crate. <laughs> If you leave a toy on your bedroom floor, then look in her crate. If you take your socks off in the living room, they're gone. <laughs> She's ready. Yeah, off. Off. <laughs> and when I get up off this beanbag, my dog is sitting on it. Let's try. She has to have all the comfy spots for her. <laughs> get up. Right, stay here. Oh. She thinks you're leaving. Yeah, she thinks you're leaving. Like when I'm sitting on the 
kitchen over there, I have a little tiny kitchen. Um, I, I got up so I could fix the bean bag, and then I was gonna sit back down on it, but she was on it. Well, hello, Miss Macy. <laughs> I never see her that hyper. Anyway, we're headed down to the barn. We're gonna do some fun stuff with our horses. And I'm gonna ride. Today is riding day for Penny. So I told you guys last time I rode her that she's doing some kind of funny movement and it was because she had the boots on and then I made Gabby ride her after and she didn't do it. So today I'm going to try and ride her without the boots just for a few minutes and see if she does it. If she does it, then I'll know there's an issue. If she doesn't, then I'll know it was the boots. Does that make sense? Uh, Penny has no patience for me today. I had one chance to put the halter on properly and I missed the chance. And so she's leaving. She's like, oh, you are an idiot, Laura. <laughs> what I just did is not it safe. It is not safe at all. Really? So when I ride her in this rope halter, I can either attach my reins to here or I can attach them here. And I feel like here I'd have more control, here would be more comfortable for her. She's like, well just give me a treat and we'll talk about it. So Sophie says that this is not, so up here would be more control. Yeah, because down here, if you put both your reins down here, you can't turn. I can't turn? You can't because you have to use one rein to turn. Oh. And that'll just go. No, because look, I have it. See, look, it yeah, works. That's, that's not safe. It's not. Vote in the comments, you guys. It's not safe. When Gabby comes down here, she's going to say that is not safe. All right, well, vote in the comments. What do you think? I like it. Do you like it, Penny? Because up here, to put her in the cross size is yuck. She's like, I do like it, Laura. <laughs> I'm sorry, Penny. The bosses have spoken. Well, then change your halter if it bothers you. She's like, I don't really care. Do you guys remember when we first moved here? <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> sitting She's down. Short. <laughs> I don't want to have to bend down the whole time. When we first moved here and we had these horses, we had our boys here and Stella, and we did not know what we were doing really. Wow. And we learned like so much. <laughs> it's so quiet in here. You can hear a pin drop or a dog eat poop. But it's true, like when we first moved to this barn, we hardly knew anything, especially me. Like we knew the basics. I didn't know the basics. The girls knew the basics. And now we just come in and we just groom our horses and do what we have to do. I'm looking for the broom. And nobody even hardly talks. Like we're just all quiet and calm because we're just focused on the task at hand. It just seems weird, like how fast you learn stuff. Right, Penny Pickle? She's like, yeah, I learned brooms are not scary, huh? Yes, you did. Brooms are not scary. Good girl, yeah. Good girl. Remember you guys when I bought her and she was terrified of brooms? And she's doing so much better. Remember when you bought her and she would not load on the trailer? And she would not load on the trailer. Remember when these walls in this stall were really clean and now they have fin poo uh, over them? <laughs> there. And there, all his favorite spots to poo. Oh, I love these cement walls though. It's so warm in this barn in the winter. So I love the reins that I got for Mother's Day because one, they kind of match my, wow, they actually match pretty good. Like a little bit darker. Black goes with everything. And well, these are brown. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I really like them because they have hooks. I got to pick what kind of hook that I wanted. And I think I'll put it like this. So it doesn't hurt her. Before you do that. All right, so I put it like this. I don't know, you guys. I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous, but I believe, I believe, Penny. Or I could hook it to here. What do you guys think? No, you will not be able to turn. Yeah, all right. Let's go, Penny Pickle. All right. I'm going to ride like the wind. She's going to eat the grass. Penny.
you guys like I don't even know if you could see anything because you were looking into the Sun Gabby uh, so basically what happened there was that I rode Penny around in the arena I always feel so much safer in the arena I rode her with my new uh, rope halter for the very first time with my new reins that worked beautifully and so this is what I learned I learned that she is a horse that really gets confidence from the rider telling her what to do and supporting her. And this year I learned about how your horse doesn't feel supported unless you have contact and unless you uh, have your leg on. And every time she looked at me like, what do you want? I remembered to put my leg on and I've always been nervous to put my leg on this horse because you guys know she's a fast horse. And I put my leg on and as soon as, as, soon as I did it, she would relax. She just would relax and so I still need help with that. I'm not perfect at that, but a little tiny bit, I learned it and, um, but a little bit, I feel confident. Like I feel more, felt more confident doing it and she was happy. And then also the other thing I worked on was using my body more instead of my reins. I still relied on my reins a lot, but she was really responsive to the rope halter. If any of you guys are ever struggling out there and with your horse and you want to go bitless or you are using the bit and you're pulling too much and it's making your horse go faster, then this has been the biggest life changer of a ride ever riding her in my rope halter like it it's shocking she respects it she doesn't it doesn't bother her at all and in the past she hasn't liked pressure on her nose with like our our side pull so amazing like this has been so good and i love being out here working with our ponies and our horses with my girls all of us together so oh, the other thing that i was recognizing and, and working on was rewarding good behavior i was more mindful of of when to give her a release when she did something that i wanted putting my hands forward and that was that's something i really struggle with but i was trying to be more mindful and there were a couple of good moments there where i was able to wait a minute are there oak leaves in this what the heck don't eat this willow does not want to go through the puddle let's see if my horse I, you have to come away from there see if she will walk through the puddle will you come through the puddle yeah my horse doesn't care about puddles keep walking keep walking <laughs> are there oak leaves over there i don't even know what oak leaves look like but now i'm scared so gabby's giving a gracie a tiny little ride i know she's too big for her um but my granddaughter rides her and she's coming this weekend and i just want to make sure that gracie is tuned up <laughs> she avoids the puddle Come on. through the puddle she's like oh it's a puddle good girl it's been over a month now that i've been rehabbing penny back into work like um i've been introducing her back into work going slow and i wanted to see if she still had the same problem she had the other day with the boots and she doesn't so i'm gonna try riding her in the boots again i wanted her to get used to that for support and see if she does the same thing oh, today. So a storm's blanket is all sewn up and ready for him. Chino and Storm both be in blue, Finny and pink. It makes me really excited to figure out all the blankets early and not be like out shopping for blankets at the last second because that's sometimes how it works. We are getting rid of Sophie right now because we are headed out. It is dark. It is only 5.20 p.m. Where are you headed, Sophia? To Elizabeth's house. Why are you going to Elizabeth's house on a Friday night at 6 at 5.20? For her birthday party. It's her birthday party. You have the presents? Yeah. You got One, bags? Two, three, four, five. 
five presents? Would you buy her? Four presents. Four presents. Did, would you buy her? Um, I bought her LED lights, uh, a box that is cut in the corners, and then when she opens it, it's gonna all fall out, and then there's candy stick to the sides. Yeah. Yeah, we got that for Kaylee a couple years ago. No, I got and it then, for Sophia. Oh, she got it for Sophia. And then there's a bag of mints and a bracelet, which she does not know what she's getting. Uh, like yeah. Best I mean, she guessed it. And yeah. Birthday card. Yeah. Last night, uh, Sophie said, hey, look at your birthday presents all wrapped up. Guess what they are? And she guessed them. She guessed two of them so fast. Yeah, that's like, why I don't show my face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sophie said, okay, you can guess your present, but you cannot look at my face because as soon as she guessed them, we just started laughing our heads off. But anyway, we're dropping Sophie off. Storm's blanket is done. It's been a long day. I feel amazing that I rode my horse. Like, I feel like I'm back to riding my horse now. Like, when you don't ride your horse for like, for months and months and months, you get nervous and, and I feel like that's gone now. I feel like I'm ready. I'm back in business. Penny and I are back in business. It'll still be a little bit of time before she can like move faster and do more, but for now, we are killing it. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like our uh, contest on Instagram. Take three friends and follow Virtue Soap Company for a chance to win their amazing gift basket for Christmas. It'd be an awesome pr prize. Um, that is it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I also have my camera. Oh, you brought your camera? Yeah, and I'm gonna put it in my bag. All right. Sophie's like me, she takes everything about the kitchen sink with her when she goes away, even just for a sleepover. Don't you know that you're beautiful?